Hi, good morning. It's Mary. I came today to do a great video that I've been so excited about doing since I got this palette. It's the LA Pro palette. So this is how I got this eye look today with this LA Pro palette. So hang tight if you want to see how I got this eye look and this face look with the makeup that I used. Just keep on watching. Hi, good morning, it's Mary. Welcome to my channel. I do makeup, fashion, and beauty. And today, I'm going to do an eye look, which I am so excited about. This LA Pro palette. So today I have green on and purple, and so I'm gonna go with those colors. The colors in this Pro palette are so nice. Wait till you see. All right, now in my, um. I forgot to mention this in my boxy lux. I got this pure lease. This pure lease it says it's a BB cream um, with SPF 30, and I wanted to tell you what else it said about it. Um, it. It sounds really nice, and I put some on my hand. You can see it runs a little bit, but what does it say about it here? It says that it is a multitasking beauty balm that is a foundation antioxidant moisturizer and SPF 30 all in one. Featuring our exclusive Asian herbs, extracts, complex glow, goji and herb berg brightens the skin while jasmine improves skin texture and retains moisture to create a gorgeous and glowing complexion nice so that sounds really nice here it says the ritual for the normal to dry skin wear over purely moisturizers for oily skin wear alone for extra coverage or under foundation and i couldn't detect a a, a shade here medium i got a medium shade there it is right here down at the bottom it says medium so that's the shade i'm usually a light medium Let's see how it looks because I can tell these colors are really nice. I, I see that about them just on the palm of my hand. I'm just picking it up. See, I'm picking it up to go on my beauty blender. I just ever so slightly touched it and it came right up. And let's see how much coverage we get. Oh, I see why it's, a, it's not a full coverage. You can see right away that as the coverage goes on, it's a light coverage. Hey, but it's Saturday, so let's take it easy and do the light coverage for today. How's that sound? I know, huh? So, I was watching the little poet this morning. I was watching her video, and she was talking about change and how change can sometimes be difficult, a little scary, and unnerving, yes. Yes, I remember when I got divorced, I, I didn't expect to be divorced ever. I never saw that in my future. My family didn't have that run through the family or anything like that. Um, it was just a shock to me. Hi. Great, thank you. Even though I've just now remembered we have those breads in the refrigerator, you pop open and cook the oven. Yeah, yeah. We can do those next time. Let them off or something. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm putting that on stuff like the caramels. Thank you. Some eggs. You want some eggs? No, I had eggs and um, waffles today. You had eggs and waffles today? Yeah, when I was up early. Okay, so um, I'm trying this purely, Mariah. It's kind of light. I got my video going too. It's okay. I don't care if you guys talk in the video. It's all right. 
we're at the house, so not expect it. He said it should be fine. Um, wonderful, right. wonderful. So it's Let me just tell Joe mm -hmm. and dispatch. Let's see, Joe oh, and okay. dispatch. Joe. Oh, okay. Good deal. Good deal. Okay, so you can see the Pure Lease is a pretty, pretty, pretty good coverage. And it's gone on really nicely. And it does look like I have a no makeup on. I think you can really tell that it has that look of no makeup. No makeup makeup. How many of the eggs? Wow. I only had two today. Okay. Oh, okay, so <clears throat> I'm going to hop off the camera and I'm going to do my brows and I'll be right back. I'll have my eyes all primed and we'll be ready to go with our LA Pro palette. Okay, I'm back. So what I did, I finished putting on my Pure Lease foundation, really nice light foundation. Then this time instead of putting on my white paint pot, I went into this Angel palette and I find the white color that's in here, this white color. And I put that on my lid, especially in the inner portion of my lid. And then look at this nice green. I put the light green on the lower lash line. So what I plan to do with the lower lash line is use a purple line with it. So anyway, let's go ahead and go in and let's try out this pretty, pretty green right here. This and this, and then I'm also going to use this color down here. It, it appears to be gray, but it seems like it picks up what other, whatever other color is around it, and it looks that color. It's kind of different. Okay, let's pull you in a little closer so you can see. Just going in with the green. Oh, that's just beautiful. You can see already that it does have um, a really nice presence, a really nice shine to it. And let's just go like this with it. Just like that. I really like the color. Okay. Then I'm gonna go in and do the left eye with the light color while I have the light color on my brush. And you can see as you place it on your lid, it does go across the lid really nice. Okay, just like that. There you go. Just like that. That is so pretty. That's a really pretty green. How do you like it? It's very beautiful. The green is just exquisite. I think I need to go up a little bit right here. I'll get a smaller brush and I'll go in and do the detail there. And now I'm going to use this darker color green for the outer corner of my eye. Let's see how this looks for the outer corner. It's coming up really nice. All right, like that. That's looking really pretty. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back into the light color and just help it mix and like the two congeal. So it looks like a natural color change. It looks like a natural color change. It's really beautiful, really pretty. Okay, very nice. Now let's go to the darker color on the left eye and just finish that one up. It's coming out really pretty. There we go. All right. All right, that is really nice. Oh, I'm loving it. It's coming out so beautiful. This palette is a real joy to work with too. Now you can see I got a little green up there in my crease. But I'm going to go in and I'm going to go ahead and do my crease color a little bit more. I'll show you how I do that. And my transition color. I know I started with the greens first, but 
I kind of wanted to see um, how they performed and how deep it would go. So, what I thought of for my crease color is being that my eye look is um, green, I didn't want to muddle it with a light green. I wanted to light brown for a transition. I want to go all the way with the darker brown for the transition color because I want this look to kind of have a pop to it and really be a significant uh, color look. And the way to do that is to go with a little darker color and I didn't want to just do a lighter color and keep adding to darken it because I noticed what that does to me is that makes my shadow too thick on my skin. It, one, it doesn't feel comfortable and another, it doesn't really look that great either. So let me go into my crease just a tad bit and kind of just pick it out a little bit. And we're going to have to get a blending brush and blend all this out together so that it all looks nice and it's blendable and it looks okay together and then I need to come up here and just get this line right here see that how that works now you see how that darkened up the eye look at the difference so it's going to be okay because I'm going to put my lashes on and it's going to congeal with this darker green color I think you're going to like it so anyway I was watching this morning the little poet and she did um, a video on change and how sometimes change can seem so scary and be so difficult. Yeah, that I think everybody goes through that. We all have changes. We all go through changes. And sometimes we go through changes alone as an adult. And that's hard for sure when you're alone. Um, and for me, I had my children, so I wasn't entirely alone. But when I went to court, my, my husband divorced me, and the lawyer told me that I couldn't go in the courtroom when he divorced me. I said, okay. And then he said, well, it's getting worse. You can't even ride in the elevator with him. He wants to go up in a separate elevator. I'm like, oh, okay. So anyway... I got my divorce by noon that day or one o'clock, whatever time it was. I was totally by myself and went to the courtroom and everything. So then I came home at night and I kept thinking, wow, it really happened. I didn't want to be divorced and he divorced me and I really didn't want to be divorced. I didn't want a broken family and I didn't want to suffer by myself. And I was just hoping he would, you know, somehow change his mind and then I wouldn't end up being a divorced woman in my 30s. So anyway, I went in. It's like I was um, thinking about it. You know, most people honor their marriage and all that. And in like um, a spiritual type of way, I felt like um, I was just so down and I felt like I felt like I had a message that, okay, while you were staying in faith, it was okay, but now it's over. So I gotta cut these attachments from you. And I felt like I went and took a hot bath and prayed about it. And I felt like God cut the soul ties so I could go on and live my life. I know that sounds weird, but when you're married with someone, you're really with them. And we've been married 14 years. I was married from my youth to my husband, and I never expected that. In a million years, I didn't expect that. So, with that, you kind of have to go on every day starting to relive your life differently. When you make dinner, he doesn't come home to eat. And when you go to bed, you're alone at night. When you pay the bills, you pay them all by yourself. Yeah, it's quite a transition. Um, luckily, I had been out a little bit, and I've always worked part-time and helped out. So it wasn't 
unusual for me to be working person. So I had a job and then I finished up my nursing school and became a nurse, but change is not easy. Change is not easy. Especially if you're a, a woman who been married and all of a sudden you're single, it's, it's really difficult. But you can get through it. Seems like everybody figures it out. It takes some people longer than others, but change is, it's not easy. And every day, every day is almost like you get up and you go through all these changes again and it just, it takes a little bit of a year, year or years to get over, I think. Okay, so next thing I'm going to do is, I'm going to put my lashes on and we're going to do some eyeliner in purple. Yeah, the purple. So, all right, I'm going to hop off, do my eyeliner in purple, and I'm thinking before I go, let's see, should we add a little a bit of this grayish color? It's so beautiful. Maybe, oh, I see it has a lot of the, um, there, that makes it pretty, oh, it's beautiful. I really love these colors. Really love these colors. Really nice. Okay, we added a little bit of glimmer and glamour to it with this. One day I'm going to do a whole video with this is the um, lid of my, this color is going to be the lid. Okay, so I'll be back in just a minute with my lashes on. We'll fix this up and make it look great and be ready for the day. Okay, hold on, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back and I got my lashes on. It came out so nice. I think it looks really nice. Now I'm going to use my Avon mascara for my lower lashes. Oh, okay. And it's got a, probably a little bit of a thick one, but I'm managing my lower lashes with it. There you go. There it goes. Yeah. And, and I'm just trying to get my lashes to show up on the lower lid. So let me use my, um, I'm going to go back and use my Better Than Sex mascara. I always have my best luck with that mascara because it goes on so good for my lower lashes. Let's see how we do. All right, there we go. There we go. I got them going again. All right. All right. That came out nice. So the next thing I'm going to do that's kind of easy is I'm going to go ahead and use my purple eyeliner from Wet n Wild. It's one of my favorite ones that I always use. Now I have a purple pencil and this one is pretty good. It doesn't really tug much. But the problem is that if my eyeliner tugs, it's really hard to, um, it makes it hard to go on in the line that I want. So I've always had much more luck with my Wet n Wild liquid eyeliner. Just looking for it. Here, it rolled under here. Oh, okay, I got it now. So let's try it. I'm gonna shake it up a little bit. Okay, and this is it right here. It's a little bit of a bottle, but, and it has this brush, and I really like it. I think it comes out really nice. Now I'm gonna go to the right eye, and I'm gonna go right here and get my line drawn, and I'm gonna do a little bit of a wing. I'm gonna come up here again and then down to the inner corner and you can see sometimes my 
eyeliner's not coming out all the way. Let's do this under eye right here. And go right along the lash line. That's where I'm going with it, is right along the lash line. Needs a little bit of those um, things in there to make it. Okay, here we go. There we go. Oh yeah, see how that, that lines it so nice? You can get an idea that it is purple. It just comes out a little bit. Okay, I guess I gotta get me another bottle of these. They go pretty fast because I use them a bit and um, when I use them, uh, I always do a, a, a wet eyeliner, so I'm always using them and they go pretty fast on me. I'm gonna have to go get me some more. This is the wet and wild ones. I think with everything being closed, it's been a little harder to get what we need. And just going out takes so much longer, it seems like. It seems like it takes longer to get to the food store, to get everywhere we gotta go. It seems like it takes a lot longer with the COVID in process here. So, being that I'm not getting much more out on this one. I'm going to stop right there with it. And let's move on and just take a little bit of my Anu and go back into my underneath right here and add a little Anu. There we go. And a little bit under here. Okay. So now I'm going to use my newer products that I have from my Ipsy and my Boxy Lux. And here we go. Here is the bronzer I'm going to use. Let's try the bronzer and contour. It's my Cocoa Powder Contour Palette that I got in my Boxy Lux. There it is. Let's go for the coral for the blush. How would that be? Let's do the coral for the blush. Getting some on my brush like this. Oh, okay, and there we go. Oh, that's really pretty. Oh, that is so pretty. Isn't that so nice? What do you think? It's nice, right? Yes. So anyway, what I was talking about was change and going through changes in life and especially when you get divorced and you're a younger woman. I was in my 30s when I was divorced. It was very difficult. Okay, so now let's go in with this middle color for bronzer and I'm just going to add a little orange to it. I like a little orange tint to my bronzer too. I'm just going to go and mix that in so nice. Gonna blend it and blend it so there we go and then just take a little more of the blush to help blend it down see how the blush can blend it down that's a trick you can use too if your uh, bronzer comes out a little bit too dark just use your blush and you can usually blend it down again really nice i'm really liking it really looks so natural okay now let's take the lighter brown and come up along the forehead gently like this get it up like that and i like the little bit of a coral color in my forehead and then the, the let's do the lightest brown right there that shape like that. It's so pretty when you get it on your forehead too. It's so nice. Just blending it out. Uh, it's really good. Oh my goodness. Wow. It really came out nice, right? I think it's beautiful. Okay, so now let's do a little bit of a lipstick. And I have 
my lip here that I'm going to put on right here. So it's a bit of a pinkish coral. Okay, wow, I think that looks really nice. How do you like it? Let me add a little more coral to it. I'm gonna go with my Kat Von D and put the coral in the center. Oh, that is so pretty. See how I got the two lines? The darker on the outside the lighter part on the inside. I wouldn't say my makeup is perfect. I got a little problem over there. But I think it came out great for this palette. I love this palette and I love working with it. It's a tr it's a dream. It's like it reminds me of when I used my Wet n Wild products. They just come out and they stay on. All right then. I hope you enjoyed my video and come back and I'm going to I'm going to do a fashion haul for you from Walmart, okay? So I hope you stay well, and whatever time of day is you're watching, morning, noon, or night, or if you can't sleep at night, I get you. Happens to me, too. So I hope you have a good day, and you come back and watch my videos some more, okay? All right, talk to you later.